Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a full face of uh, 2016 slash January favourites. The reason I'm saying slash January is because this video is going up on the 1st of February, um, so it's a bit late to be like, hey, it's my 2016 favourites. But I really, really needed a break after doing the um, 12 days of Christmas and I've not been very well so I haven't been able to film because my voice has just been absolutely horrendous but now I'm back and I'm planning on doing favorites every month this year I also have a kind of detailed schedule plan for my videos so you should be able to look forward to a video every other Wednesday and every Friday. I'm gonna work on it really hard this year. That's that's like my goal for 2017. But yeah, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy my full face of 2016 favorites. So I'm gonna start off with skincare. Um, my first skincare favorite is the Mario Badescu um, drying lotion. You might have heard a couple of people talking about this now, and um, please do excuse the top, I use it like every day. But basically, it's um, calamine lotion and salicylic acid, and you just dip a q-tip into it and then pop it onto your spots. Um, I really like this because it's been doing wonders for my breakouts. So as you can see, I've got a couple of um, spots here, but they're actually just marks now. And I put that on last night, and it's taken my spots right here, these ones were really bad, um, right down. So that's why I love that one. And then my second skincare favourite is the Body Shop Drops of Youth Concentrate. So I like to just pop it on my face before I do a moisturiser. Um, I'm not actually going to do a moisturiser today, because my skin isn't that dry. I might just pop a bit over these dry spots here um, but yeah I like to either just pop it on my face like this or sometimes I mix it into my foundation moving on to primers my favorite primer is the body shop vitamin C um, skin provider instant smoothing is what, instant smoothing is what it says I actually like to wear this either underneath makeup or just on its own I find when I wear it just on its own, it really like smooths out my complexion and gives me just a very like, it won't come across on camera, but it gives you like this subtle but natural gl glow as well. But I also find when I wear this underneath my makeup, it makes my makeup that much smoother. And it smells nice too, it smells kind of orangey or citrusy. So my favourite foundation has been the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra HD Liquid Foundation. And I am wearing the shade, one, I'm using the shade 1.0. Um, when I first got this foundation, they actually gave me the shade 2.0. Which at the time I was wearing, when I went to get matched, I was wearing a foundation that was too dark for me. So I think the girl obviously matched to the foundation that I was wearing. Um, but since then, I've been into the store and just asked for 1.0 myself at the next day down because 2.0 was too dark. Sometimes I still want 2.0. Um, sometimes I do put it like where I'm going to contour just to give my face a little bit more natural dimension. Because it's a little bit darker, it kind of makes my contour blend a bit better, if that makes sense. Um, but I only do that like when I'm really, really fussing with my makeup. Like today I'm just doing my kind of everyday makeup. Well actually I'm doing a full face of my favourites, but you know, this is probably going to end up looking like my everyday makeup because I use this product every day because I love them. So I'm just putting one more pump onto my hand to do my forehead. Um, I usually do, I usually do three pumps. So I only did two pumps just then, and I'm doing another pump. I love, love, love this foundation because it looks so good in person and on and in photographs and on the camera. But also, um, this is one of the only foundations I've ever had that doesn't immediately break me out. Like, obviously, it's impossible to say that it absolutely doesn't break me out because I've got breakouts at the moment. But those are more just like hormonal 
spray caps and from wearing makeup like every day kind of thing. Like I wasn't very well last week so I didn't like take care of my skin properly and then I wore makeup and then obviously I had a breakout. But yeah, I, I love this foundation because it doesn't break me out and it doesn't make my skin feel horrible when I've got on either. Like you know, if you've been wearing your makeup for quite a while and your skin starts to feel a bit like, ooh, I've got stuff on me. I don't know how to explain it. Basically, I like this because I can't really feel that it's on my face and it doesn't break me out. So next is concealer and my favourite concealer. The Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I use Fair Neutral. But yeah, I just really love this concealer because it's pale enough for me and it has enough coverage but it doesn't look cakey, which is what I love about it. And again, it doesn't break me out either. So I'm just going to bounce that in with my blending sponge. So I don't really have a favourite powder, so I'm just going to powder with my normal powders. Now I'm moving on to um, powdered cheek products. So I've got my bronzer, which I also use as a contour, and this is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. So I really, really like this one because it's a nice neutral matte colour. Like it's not too ashy and it's not too warm. Um, <clears throat> and it's matte, um, which makes it look good for like a natural kind of bronze look or for contour. And the other reason I like it is because it blends really, really well. Now it's time for blush, and my favourite blush of the moment is the Rocketeur blush by Benefit. Um, I did get this one for Christmas, and before that I was using a NYX one or a MAC one, and they were both my favourites, but this one has by far surpassed that. So that's what it looks like inside. As you can see, I have rubbed away the nice um, marking that was on it. It did say rock. I really, really love this because it's just a beautiful, beautiful colour. It's got a kind of like light sheen to it. It's not shimmery. It's just a really nice natural kind of colour. And it smells lovely. It kind of smells like honey. And now for my favourite highlight, that is the Sleek um, Solstice Highlight Palette. So this is what it looks like. Sorry, I'm trying not to blind you there. That's what it looks like. Um, I've been loving using the cream shade in this, specifically. Um, but my favourite powder shade is this orange one here, so I'm going to use that one today. And mix it lightly with the yellow, that's how I like to wear it. But yeah, for the price, this is the most kick-ass highlight I've ever used, and I really, really like it. So my favourite, 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 favourite brow products have been these Freedom... These Freedom Brow Pomades. Um, so I have the shades Ash Brown and Dark Brown. I am probably just going to use the Ash Brown. And... This is my favourite brush to do my eyebrows with. It is the E7 by MUA. So I'm just going to fill in my brows quickly. I'm probably going to fast forward this or do this off camera because it just takes so much time. Okay, so now I'm back. I have filled in my eyebrows and I'm going to set them with my other brow favourite and this is the Benefit Ready Set Brow. Um, I just use a clear one. I'm not sure if they sell like non-clear ones but yeah I just use the clear one. So before this my only experience of setting my eyebrows was with a natural collection clear brow gel which didn't really hold them in place for that long but it did kind of do the trick. The reason I like this one so much is because it holds my eyebrows in place for ages and also there's two sides to the one. So this, um, the longer side which is that one now you use that to brush the product just through your brows, and then the shorter side, which is um, the bristles on the top, you use to kind of like sculpt your brows. So one day if I don't fill my eyebrows in, what I like to do is just like fluff the tops of my eyebrows using the shorter side, and then set the rest of my eyebrows using the longer side. So now I'm going to move on to eyes. My favourite eye primer is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and this is the anti-aging one. Um, I think I've used this in pretty much all of my makeup videos that I've done on my channel so far. Basically, I really, really like this one, because it kind of smooths out the... I wouldn't say the wrinkles, but the creases in my eye in my eyelids. Um, I have quite a lot of creases 
and this one smooths out the, the smaller ones, which is why I like that. So I couldn't decide between these eyeshadow palettes which one was my favourite, so I'm just going to show you both of them and I'll probably just use one of them on my eyes today. So my first favourite is the Morphe 35O Matte Palette. So this one blew up over the internet. Um, sorry, that one's a bit wet. That one's been wetted. So it looks a bit funny. Um, but yeah, this one blew up over the internet and I really, really like it. I'm really into all these red shades and I also like all the neutral brown shades. So that's that one. And my second favourite is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I really, really love the smell of this one and I also love all the shades in this one and I think this is the one I'm going to use today. But yeah, these eyeshadows, both the Morphe and the Too Faced one, they both blend really, really well. They're both really, really pig pigmented. Um, but yeah, I just love them. Now that just leaves my 2016 favourite mascara, which is of course the Benefit Roller Lash. I just love this mascara. Um, so the wand looks like this, it's curved, and I just find that it really fans out my lashes and makes them look kind of more curly. Sometimes I curl my eyelashes before. I put this on but today I'm just gonna go straight in with it I don't really like having clumpy eyelashes so this is why I like this mascara so much and now I have two lip products to show you both of them are Jeffree Star. Please, please, please don't hate on me for liking Jeffree Star products. Okay, moving on. So, my favourite lip products are these two. These two I both got near Christmas time. Well, this one I got for Christmas and this one I got just before. Um, so, this here is Mannequin. And this here is Flamethrower. Today I'm going to wear Mannequin. Basically, I just love the way this makes my lips look. It's, it's kind of like my lips, but better. I really like this lipstick formula. It glides on really nicely. It's not really heavy. And it does dry down to a mat. And I like to be able to eat and drink and go about my day without having to worry about touching up my lipstick. Like, that's one of my pet peeps having lipstick that you have to keep re reapplying um, but yeah I really really love this lipstick finally I'm just going to set my face I'm not going to include this as a favorite basically because it does the job but it doesn't wow me Okay, so that was my full face of 2016 favourites. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this video. And let me know below if this is the way you want me to do my favourites every month. Um, basically, <clears throat> the reason I did it this way was because I haven't really seen anybody do their favourites in this way. Um, like, I've seen loads of people do full face of products I hate and like, you know, that's cool and like full face of this and full face of that, but I thought I'd be a bit different and do my favourites in my full face video today. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments section below if you enjoyed that and if that's the way you'd like me to do my favourites every month and I will try my best to do that for you. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!